The next speaker is Jonathan Arnott. The qualified opinion on the legality and regularity of payments underlying the EU accounts is still a very, very serious thing indeed. If any business were receiving a qualified opinion on its accounts, it would rightly be worried. And even more worrying, I suppose, is the way that we've arrived at this situation, why it wasn't the even worse adverse opinion as uh, previous years. So firstly, it's argued that errors aren't pervasive, claiming that the errors are only high for reimbursement-based expenditure, but it needs to be pointed out that the errors exist across every single area of spending uh, within the EU budget. The error rate of 3.1% is still over four billion of taxpayers' money every year. And if it were just that, it would still be bad enough, but it's not just that. There's an awful lot more to it than that. At uh, one, the error rate does mask a far, far higher rate of projects uh, where there are errors. So, for example, EAGF payments, 23% of those had errors, but the error rate reported is 1.7%. And rural development and environment, 39% of projects have some errors within them, but the error rate then is 4.9%. So it masks something uh, that is somewhat bigger. Uh, second, uh, about a third of all errors are not quantifiable and those therefore don't show, show up in the statistics. Three, uh, foreign aid sent via third country governments is just assumed to have zero error, uh, which for accountancy purposes is understandable, but in practice is palpable self-evident nonsense. Four, we're only talking about money spent outside of the rules and wastes of the money within the rules aren't counted. Five, the errors in special instruments aren't included, which would have led to a 5.1% error rate rather than 3.1%. Six, the burden of proof is unequivocal errors. And so these are only the errors that we're absolutely certain about. They're clearly more in practice. And then we see that, in effect, there's blind eyes being turned left, right and centre. On page 47 of this report, we're reminded that pension contributions aren't ring-fenced, but used to fund the general EU budget. Now, that is something which, in any uh, context, in any organisation, isn't good practice. And the reason why we have the whole pension liability question in the Brexit debate in the first place is that this hasn't been happening uh, properly. This hasn't been done properly at EU level for many decades. Uh, I now have deep concerns with regard to the Court of Auditors because auditors should always be completely independent of the organisation that they audit. I mean, that's the whole point of auditing. But now we're in a situation where nearly 40% of the court are ex-politicians and most of those are ex-MEPs. And when all but six of the auditors are former civil servants, it starts to undermine a level of public confidence in those same auditors. Throughout this report, the perspective seems to me to be one of excusing problems. So when 31% of projects uh, contained errors on page 260, the report instead described them as 69% error-free. Uh, Mr President, it's not the job of the auditors to excuse failings, it's the job of auditors to expose them.